Today, we're diving into a really fun touch designer setup. I'll walk you through everything step by step. I'll try to keep things simple and to the point, but feel free to pause, rewind, or experiment along the way. Alright, let's jump in. Let's begin by adding a constant chop. We're going to have two channels for resolutions. Res X and Res Y. Set their values to 1280 and 720, respectively. Also, add another channel named Res Ratio. And set its value to 16 by 9. Make sure there's no space between words so it remains a single channel. Next, let's add a grid SOP. We'll use the res ratio from our constant chop and apply it to the size X parameter of the grid. This will ensure we get a perfect 16 by 9 aspect ratio for our grid. If you want a larger grid, simply multiply both size X and size Y by the same number. Since we want our grid to face upwards, change its orientation to the ZX plane. Now, add a transform SOP after the grid. And set its uniform scale to 1.3. To give the grid some movement, add a noise SOP. Instead of displacing it along the Z axis, we'll use the abs time expression in the TX parameter. Multiply this expression by minus 1 to reverse its direction. Finish this SOP work by adding a null SOP. Now, let's move into the chop domain by adding a SOP to chop. Followed by a null chop. Rename this null chop to instances. This null will be used to instance multiple boxes. Add a transform SOP and scale it down to 0.05. To keep things flexible, add a null SOP at the end. So if we ever need to change the geometry, we can do it easily. I've already prepared my render network beforehand. Cause I want to have some specific camera and geometry positions. So let's connect the null SOP to both of these geocomps. Right now, we're getting an error. But that's because we haven't referenced the correct chop yet. We need to use the null chop named instances as our default instance OP. Also, make sure to select TX, TI, and TZ from the dropdown in the translate parameters. Now, I'll show you the exact positions I used for the geometries. Feel free to use these same values or experiment with different ones in your project. Since we want the box frames to be slightly bigger, I set their uniform scale to 1.1. For the material, I used a PBR mat and changed its color to a nice green to get the wireframe look for the boxes. Go to the common section of the PBR mat and set wireframe mode to topology wireframe. For the second geometry, I reference the rotation parameters from the first one. This way, when we adjust the first geometry's rotation, the second one updates automatically. For the material, I used Fong MAT for the second geometry. In both PBR and Fong, we need either environment light or direct light. So, I used a light comp here. And changed the shadow type to soft, 2D mapped. Adjust the lighting settings as needed. Instead of a point light, I used a cone light here. Which gives better control over the lighting. Now, let's go over the changes I made to the camera comp, feel free to use these exact parameters. 
or you could adjust the camera to your preferred position and angle. For the render comp, I left it at its default settings. For the post-render part of this project, I'll go to the palette and grab the feedback comp. Along with that, I'll also grab the RGB delay comp. Now, connect both of these in order. Next, let's add a level top. We'll use a composite top to merge it with the render top. After testing different operations, I found that negate gave the best result. Since the visual looks a bit dull, we can fix it by adding another level top. Sometimes, using different composite operations can result in a transparent background. To fix that, we'll use a transform top to set the background color. Finally, let's add a null top at the end of this network. In the level top, slightly increase the brightness. Do the same for contrast and black level to enhance the look. Apologies for any choppiness, it seems like whenever I run the visual, the recording gets blurry. Feel free to experiment with different operations and find what works best for you.